Top 10 Weird Rules from Disney Parks You Never Knew Existed Number 10 No Soliciting No soliciting is pretty much a standard rule for any public establishment. That being said, it seems hard to put a cap on the control Disney has over their guests considering the mass crowds that they draw in every day. Guests are prohibited from soliciting their own business while inside the parks. This includes handing out flyers, business cards, or selling their own merchandise. You might just get an initial warning, but failing to heed to these rules may land you on the pavement outside. Number 9 Employees are always in character. This is an extremely hardened rule for anyone who is a cast member in Disney parks. Essentially, from the moment their feet hit the pavement, cast members are expected to be in character no matter what. Having a bad day. You can't show it while dressed as a Disney princess or even wearing a costume like Mickey and Minnie's. If an employee fumbles on stage or during the parade, they are expected to pick themselves back up gracefully and move on with the show. Number 8 No Folding Chairs Speaking of parades, wouldn't it be wonderful if there were actual seating arrangements so that everyone could see the parade fairly, or at least comfortably? People who know the ins and outs of Disney parks will know to get the best seats at least a half hour before the parade starts. The prime seating, of course, is on the curb where guests can sit and watch the parade without getting uncomfortable. Some guests planned even further ahead and try to bring in folding chairs to sit on for the parade. This is actually not allowed and Disney won't let guests bring in their own folding chairs. Number 7 No Adult Costumes Despite the fact that a ton of Disney classics came out in the 90s, adults are prohibited from wearing full-fledged costumes in the park. Any form of cosplay is not allowed, including character wigs, replica dresses, or makeup that might be mistaken for a Disney character. Disney banding is certainly allowed, but again, with limitations. Disney does not want younger children to mistake and guests for official Disney characters on the chance that these guests use explicit language or act in any way that a Disney character should not. Number 6 Cast Members Must Create Magical Moments This rule actually shows Disney executives softer side. While it's not encouraged to do by each employee on a daily basis, cast members are encouraged to create magical moments. These magical moments can be anything from a free ice cream cone to a special adventure with one of the Disney characters. Naturally, these magical moments are geared towards children to make the Disney Park experience one they will never forget. Number 5 Carousel of Progress Can Never Close This one isn't written in stone or anything, but considering that the Carousel of Progress inside Disney World's Magic Kingdom is one that Walt Disney himself helped create, it's unlikely that it will ever be taken down. It is also said to have been his favorite ride, which just gives further realization that no other ride will be able to take its place. It has been in the same spot in Disney World's Tomorrowland since 1975 after briefly appearing in the New York World's Fair and a few short years spent in Disneyland in California. Number 4 Designated Smoking Areas most theme parks have started to adopt this method, though it's hard to say if Disney parks actually started the trend. Theme parks, Disney included, no longer sell any tobacco products on the property. Of course, this isn't the way things used to be. In fact, there was a tobacco shop right in the middle of Main Street USA back in the day. Now, guests can only smoke in a designated area unless they want to feel the wrath of Mickey Mouse, or they will just politely be asked to put the cigarette out. Number 3 Employees Have Strict Appearance Guidelines Disney cast member appearance guidelines are ridiculously strict. Besides needing to be a proper height for certain characters, Disney princesses can be no shorter than 5 feet 4 inches. They are also subject to maintaining proper appearance etiquette. 
Disney does not allow any eccentric hair colors or styles. They prefer hair to look classic with natural colors. Nails cannot be longer than their fingertips and fake nails and polish it prohibited. Men can't have long hair, at least not past their collars, and facial hair must be kept neat and no longer than a quarter of an inch. Tattoos are actually allowed but they have to be covered. Number 2 No filming for commercial use. Vlogging is a common pastime for people nowadays, and it doesn't stop once people are inside Disney parks. In fact, a lot of people make a living specifically off of their footage from Disney outings. That being said, filming for commercial use, such as for a film, is not allowed inside Disney parks. However, there are plenty of websites and YouTube channels that have gotten around this rule, so it seems that maybe it isn't strictly enforced. Number 1 No social media for cast members And finally, another rule for cast members states that no team member, no matter what position they might fill, is allowed to use social media while on property. Or at the very least, they can't post about their work activities on any platform. This includes behind-the-scenes photos of the theme park itself, as well as enhancing their role as a Disney character. Pictures in character also should not be displayed on social media, but it seems that Disney can't keep up with this employee guideline.